Special operators have the highest operational tempo in America's armed forces. They are relatively few in numbers, and their work at the tip of the spear is dangerous. They are indeed America's finest. The Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps all have dedicated special operation units, including Army Green Berets and Rangers, Navy SEALs, Air Commandos, and Marine Corps Special Ops personnel. They operate behind enemy lines, destroying terrorist networks or rescuing hostages. They get the call when diplomacy fails and when political or military considerations rule out further development of larger conventional forces. In nearly every significant United States military action over the past 20 years, special operators were the first to arrive and they are the last to leave. Their impact on our way of life is immeasurable. We'll never know about most of their work. Special operators lost in the line of duty often go largely unreported. It is the price of secrecy a byproduct of their profession. The children of these fallen warriors deserve the best life has to offer, including a quality education. Never knew how special it was or anything like that that my father did. I know that uh, he got called away for long periods of time and would randomly get on airplanes and come back and was never home for the holidays. Before my, my father actually passed away when we lived in Korea and he had a um, battalion command over there um, in Camp Red Cloud, Korea. He was a Navy SEAL teammate and he's a good guy. Uh, I would say his specialty was uh, um, free falling. so. Um, anything that had to do with jumping out of a plane, so to speak. And also he was in the original Delta Force, so he was a Green Beret, and he was one of the founding members of the Delta Force. Uh, before they came into my life, I had no plans to go to college at all, and I actually never attended college until they actually came into my life. I went to UNC Chapel Hill, and I studied broadcast journalism and graduated in May of 2005. Trying to get into college, it was quite difficult. I, I started putting the packet together and everything, and this was when I kind of first got in with the uh, Warrior Foundation. Started work crunching those numbers, and I couldn't believe how astronomical college was going to be. You know, you always hear about something being expensive, but until you actually sit down and you, you put two and two together, you don't realize it yourself. So I started putting those together, and I never thought I was actually going to make it to a uh, four-year university, let alone a uh, place where I managed to make it to. So when I got in touch with the Warrior Foundation, they definitely helped me and they assured that I'd make it through and they were right. I want to thank the Special Operations Warrior Foundation so much. Everything that they have done for me, they've done for my sister, um, really he did all that for us and you know, we can't thank them enough. I want to say thanks to everybody out there who's made this organization possible because truly without this, I don't know where I'd be today. Well, I would just like to say thank you to the Special Operations War Foundation for changing my life and providing me with the schooling I know that my father would have wanted me to have. Everybody has to do their do their part, and not everybody's on the combat lines. But uh, everybody can still support our military, can still still pull their own weight uh, as, as part of their duties as a patriot and part of this country. Well, you know, one question I get a lot about charities is uh, how well are they run, and I get that from a lot of people when I recommend charities to them, and, and you won't find a better one that's better run than the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Uh, so that's 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 the first thing. It's just a very well run organization and because of that the vast majority of every dollar given goes to where it should which is the programs and the kids. These people are fighting on our behalf and fighting to keep our freedoms and fighting to keep us safe and these people are putting their lives on the line and sacrificing a lot as are their families and so I think that it's everybody's duty and obligation to to 
take part and be supportive of it in some way or the other. It's just been uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been seven years now, hard to believe. But like I said, the uh, the organization's just come so far in seven years because of John and his leadership and everybody else involved. And uh, it's been a it's been a good experience for me. Very rewarding. I would I would just like each soldier to know that it's appreciated that uh, that me and my family appreciate it, that everybody here appreciates what they do for us.